here at Miss Charlotte's uh, greenhouse. Uh, aquaponic system we just finished not long ago. And when I say not long ago, I mean just a few months ago. Uh, the beds have been up now two and a half, maybe three months. Here's tomatoes. These plants came from seeds. All right. And they were put in here when they were three, four, six inches tall, somewhere in there. Not very big. And there's tomatoes all throughout here. She's really had a good set. And this is partially due to some of the supplements we put in the system early on. Uh, as soon as it cycled, we started supplementing. Let's walk around here. We've been getting lots of okra, too. Now, I'm not sure if there's any okra up here today or if she's already picked it. Just looking up in there in that jungle of okra. It looks like it's all been picked today. The uh, pH, we just uh, I just verified for sure, is 7.0 now which our local pH in our water here is in the upper sevens. So we're, we're pretty happy with that. Here's a bean. I'm not sure exactly what kind of bean that is, but it is a bean. Walking inside here, you can see some marigolds here. Here's a flower from one. Absolutely beautiful. Another shot of some more of the okra, and look at this little fella. Expecting to get a nice treat. He will go directly into the uh, the can and go into our system back home. He's actually going to be fish food. Let's walk over here. Here's some more tomatoes. Let me tell you something. These tomatoes are really coming on. She is super excited. Now, there, there could be a lot more tomatoes, but as you'll see, uh, some of the fruit's not setting. Like right here, the flower died. Um, now, some of you had questions about the fish tank. I believe Donna Lee had uh, just received her IBC today. So I wanted to show you what we did with this one as far as cutting it out. We cut the top like this, basically. Just cut the top out, left about four inches all the way around. And we do have a cover over it now. now one thing I've noticed about this cover is it's not blocking enough sun. You can see there we're having some algae growth on top of the... Uh, the pipes inside here so that actually needs to be cleaned off not a big deal to do it but uh, it does need to happen the water is rather murky and that is because the iron that's been used in this water was the DDHA uh, six percent which it gives you a very very deep red tint looks almost like wine or blood um, we are cycling out of that now because she's actually down to seven uh, on her pH which once she, she hit 7.5 we quit using the DDHA Anyway, as that happens, that's uh, that's what we'll do is cycle down and, and clear her water up. Just to show you what's going on uh, with the water coming out of the tanks, this is an outlet. This is an outlet. This is an outlet. And all three of those go to grow beds. This one right here is a three-quarter overflow. This is your one inch coming in. So we're pumping in through one inch. We're going out through three one inches and also have an overflow of a three-quarter just in case we we have a stoppage in the system we don't want to pump all our water out of the system and burn our pump up so we have this overflow here just in case look around here I know the eggplants have been doing really well blooming looking really nice but as of yet I don't see any fruit set another nice bloom right here Whoop, bloom just fell off so that's that's definitely not gonna set just look in this one right here. It may actually set. We'll see. More food for the fish if he doesn't get away. <laughs> gotcha. So that'll go into the fish, uh, the uh, the food pile for the fish back back at our place. Uh, Miss Charlotte's catfish aren't big enough to handle the, uh, the grasshoppers yet, but they will be. Chocolate mint, guys. Woo-wee. Boy, well, let me tell you. You like coffee? Chocolate mint's the thing to put in there. It smells really good. Here's some or, uh, parsley, some Italian parsley, stevia, lots of good stevia. Some radishes that are just an experiment. Let's turn around here. Some basil, sweet basil more parsley down in there which is actually ready to be picked uh, and it'll regrow 
This stuff has a lot of vitamin C in it. And looking down in here, here's the sump tank. And actually there's a, a jug down there with full of ice. She freezes this and then uh, throws it in and it helps cool the water down. And right now she's checking her water level. She's actually a little low, so she's fixing to add uh, two blue barrels full of water that have been dechlorinated and pH balanced by using a little muriatic acid. There's those blue barrels there. And there she is, showing her backside. <laughs> Look here. Earlier I showed you in our system where our stevia had bloomed. Right here, hers is about to bloom as well. So we'll have to wait and see what the uh, taste of the stevia is after it blooms, see if it gets any kind of bitter taste to it. Let's go over here, she was just pointing. Looks like, what is that, cilantro? Uh -huh. Yeah, her cilantro is gone to seed now, so either we got to pick the flowers off or go ahead and pick this cilantro, otherwise it's going to go ahead and get really weird tasting. And that's about it for uh, Miss Charlotte's update. Things are looking really great here. Like I said, it's it's a maximum three months old. She's got fruits everywhere on the tomatoes. Been getting lots of okra. The basil, you can see right there in that shot, the basil is pushing two foot tall. Doing just excellent. And all this stuff either came from seed or cuttings, with the exception of a few plants such as the parsley. Uh, even the eggplant came from seeds. So... There it is, folks. Uh, if you have any questions, please post them. Please share the video and uh, make sure you click like.